What's going on guys? Eric with Jet Envy here and we got a GP1800R and it's getting data glide. Alright guys, so we just finished sanding the bottom of the GP1800. Let's go take a look. We're going to wipe it down with acetone, make sure it's real clean, and then we're going to wipe it down with a tack cloth make sure there's no fibers on there before we roll this gator glide on after speaking with the owner of gator glide he recommends rolling it on over spraying it on Alright guys, so I had to give it a water only sponge bath because I, acetone and uh, my tack cloth were not getting the dust off. So I gave it a fresh water uh, sponge bath. You can see it's still wet. Um, we got to let that dry and then I will hit it with a little bit of acetone to clear out any minerals that uh, dry up on the ski. It's now officially day two of the Gator Glide install. We finished sanding and cleaning the ski late last night or at the end of the day last night. And now we're going to move on to actually mixing the Gator Glide and applying. So we're going to start with the base. So let's get over to the mixing table and see how that goes. We just marked out our five coats on both side, on both the A, part A and part B. All right. Every coat takes about 30 minutes to dry. All right. So you have from start to start 30 minutes. And then they also recommend a microfiber roller. I got three just in case. You only mix no more than two coats worth of paint at a time. All right. You don't want to go more than that.
after you do the base coat, it has to cure for three days before you can sand it and do the top coat. 